This all comes as many people living in the Lemon Hill area of Sacramento are still waiting for the power to come back on. They have spent several days in the dark. They reached out to ABC 10 with some neighbors telling us they are concerned for those who are older and can't leave their homes. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live in Lemon Hill tonight. And Roxanne, this is now a safety concern. Chris and Laura, it is right now. Residents feel as if there is no end in sight with down power lines still right here behind me. They feel that with the strong rain and winds that are to come, they feel things are only going to get worse. One resident who lives nearby says the longest she's ever gone without power was about 45 minutes, but this time around, it's been about a few days now. We've been here about five years and nothing like this. This is a lot. This is a lot. For the past three days, Terry Pulling has spent her time dealing with no power in her home off Lemon Hill Avenue. The refrigerator, everything in the fridge is gone bad. Um, Got to clean that out and it's completely dark. I mean, and we don't light that many candles, but it's just completely dark and it's cold. Cold because there's no heat and that's kind of scary. So I haven't really been able to sleep very well. On top of no electricity, she's scared the water surrounding her home will soon get inside. So for four hours a day, she's been digging trenches on her property by herself. Just up the road off Lemon Hill Avenue, another neighbor is also worried about losing his power again. You know, waking up and the, bump, the, the loud noise and uh, not knowing what was going on, then looked outside. Uh, uh, everything was down lights. William Murphy lost power during the first storm on New Year's Eve. That same night, a large branch fell off this tree in front of his yard, landing on top of his garage. Well, I'm concerned about it's just going to happen again. The lights uh, going out, and I'm trying to get prepared for that. You know, get candles, more candles. Earlier Tuesday afternoon, we spotted smud crews working on Lemon Hill Avenue where a power pole blocked the road. Neighbors tell us the people who live there haven't been able to leave. We asked smud if there was a timeline on when the power will be back. They tell us they have restored more than 98% of the outages since the start of the series of the storms. Terry Pooling says she just wants to be informed so she can prepare. You need to look into trying to do this because I went to get some candles and batteries just down the street and their power was out, so I had to go somewhere else. And when I got there, they had nothing on the shelves. Now, we were out here around 11 o'clock this morning, and as you can see behind me, smud crews are still working on these down power lines. We're told that you can call in and you can look at the smud outage map if you want to see what areas are without power right now. You're encouraged to call them if, of course, you are experiencing an outage. Chris and Laura, back to you in studio. Mm, and Roxanne, we can't stress this enough. Check in on your loved ones. Check in on your neighbors. Roxanne Elias, live for us tonight. Thank you.